be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The mother of Ze the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. And he said to her, What do you wish? And she answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right, the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? And they said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice will indeed my chalice you will indeed drink. But to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but it's for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt, but it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be the first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life for the ransom of many. The Gospel of the Lord. In a very real way, um, even though the disciples did not realize it, and especially the, the mother of the sons of Zebedee did not realize it, um, they were going to go through a tremendous conversion process with Jesus. Uh, and even to the point where they would give their lives for him and for the faith. James is a powerful example of that, uh, and in a real way, he was probably one of the most outspoken disciples, uh, and it was through really the passion that he was changed, completely changed, and such that he was willing to witness to Christ with that outspoken voice, if you will. So part of what is we're called to and invited to is our journey to be servants of each other. And that involves conversion. That involves really letting go of stuff. That involves change. And that involves especially our relationship with Jesus Christ in prayer, in the Word of God, and in the sacrament of the Eucharist. So let's take a moment to Pray for the grace of servanthood. <laughs> 